before Nuka, I definitely had no quality of life or a really low quality of life. And um, I would spend probably like 95% of my day in a dark room laying down. I had constant severe vertigo, a constant migraine all the time. Um, I really wasn't able to function. I, if I, on a good day, I could probably watch like half an hour of TV um, or I'd have to choose between that and scrolling on my phone for a little bit. Um, I couldn't look at a computer. I couldn't do schoolwork. I had no like tolerance for noise, any kind of light or anything like that. And that kind of just like became the normal. I'd wear dark sunglasses like everywhere I went. I'd always have like heating packs and ice packs and all that kind of stuff. And um, I'd end up, sometimes I'd end up just laying down in public because I just couldn't, I was just so dizzy. Um, I really couldn't hang out with my friends that much. I couldn't really do any activities that I wanted to do. I really just didn't function and it just kind of became like normal for like a really long time. So. How did you find Nuka Karen? How did you feel about getting started? <laughs> Um, well, I, at first <laughs> I was kind of skeptical because I did, I have tried chiropractic before and I think that definitely like helps a lot of people, but in my circumstance and like case, it wasn't really, it was kind of making things worse, just how badly my neck was and stuff like that. And, um, it was kind of the last thing my mom was like, you need to try this. And I agreed and I'm really glad I did because I just couldn't really imagine what would my life would be like if. I did it. Yeah, describe, yeah. describe to me what changed. In um, your life. So I definitely went from like like I said before, not being able to function at all, um, to being like a full time college student in New York City, and that's like something I always had dreamed of. But for a while, it kind of seemed like out of reach, and. Um, yeah, I now I have classes that are like minimum three, four hours each and I've gone through those and um, I've kind of just like more and more like a normal person and yeah. like a normal college student and stuff like that. And I can exercise a lot more now. I can like be around lights. I used to avoid lights completely. And now sometimes I'll just go to like Times Square just to see the lights. Um, and I've been around a lot of loud noise and just my tolerance for pretty much everything that caused me problems before has gone up and I've just been able to like enjoy life. I don't need dark sunglasses wherever I go um, and I can sleep through the night sometimes. Like I guess I wake up on average like one or two times per night, which is just like the world of a difference. So my energy has gone up so much. My sleep has improved, which I think has also just like helped everything. Um, and I still get vertigo and headaches, but the severe the severity of it is like much, much less and it doesn't take over my life as much as it used to. So, yeah. I'm so excited. I'm so yeah. happy to hear your story, Healy. How would you imagine your life without Nika Care? Um, I honestly don't know. I don't want to imagine <laughs> how my life would be without it. I, I don't know. I think I would still not be functioning. I probably wouldn't be in school and definitely not full time like student. Um, I don't think I'd be able to like function by myself. I used to rely on everybody to help me with pretty much everything, even like showering and that kind of thing. I just like could not function and um, I would have people cook food for me and now I can do all that kind of stuff. So I just, I think I'd probably be in the same or if not worse place than I was. So I don't think it would be nearly what my future looks like. All right, so Haley, you have this, um, these goggles here called Dizzy Doctor. Can you describe to me what they are? Yeah, so there's this app um, that you can get on your phone and you place it here and you put these over your eyes and there's a light that turns on and it kind of shows like the movement of your eyes. So um, without like really fancy, expensive technology, it can kind of give you more information about how your eyes and stuff are working. Um, and you have recordings that you can look back on. So it's kind of helped me track my vertigo and how my eyes are moving. Yeah, awesome. And we have a recording of your eyes, pre and post adjustments. So I'm excited to share those too. I 
I just wanted to thank everybody at First Place Chiropractic, um, all of like the chiropractors and the people at the front desk just for being so kind and helping me and just like understanding um, like what I'm going through and doing their best to help. So I'm just really, really appreciative for everybody here. <laughs> oh, thank you, Yelena. We appreciate that.